Hey Brian, Slasher at Suits. What's going on, dudes? Okay, we got Zombie Land 2 Double Tap. The sequel to Zombie Land that was 10 years ago. It took them 10 years to make this. Some people call it 10 years too late, but I don't know. It's right on time, man. It's a pretty good movie. And just to let you know, I'm not counting zombies, but people. You see, there's a couple of zombies that right there. I'm not going crazy trying to be like, oh, this one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, the zombie kill count was like 200 or more. You happy? Yeah, just whatever it is. I'm counting characters, so you could just add 200 to that if you want to include the zombies. It's way too many to count. Mm -mm. That girl's a fine peach. Ooh, disturbed me the whole movie. Like, oh, god damn, she got it. Jesse Eisenberg was laying pipe to both those girls in this movie, man. Lucky fucking bastard. I don't see how he could do that unless he was the last guy alive, pretty much. Like, he proposed Emma Stone, she said no, so he went to go fuck a hotter girl, dude. That's exactly what he should do. I was sort of cheering him on the whole time. Like, that's right. Get that rebound, dude. <laughs> so subscribe here for more new movie kill counts, and let's get to this. I'm so sorry. I, I I thought you were a... You thought I was a zombie? Yeah, of course, a zombie. Oh my god, no. I don't even eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. Vegan, actually. <laughs> sorry. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Columbus. Madison. <laughs> oh. 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 Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Oh yeah, this girl is such a peach, but she unfortunately died first. <laughs> she gets shot turning into a zombie, so I was like, what the hell, dude? She, They were like, well, you got mercy, so I shoot her. Oh, man, lucky bastard. He gets to fuck both these girls in this one. Because Emma Stone, you bounced, man. He asked you to marry him, and you bounced. And you're all upset because you come back, and there's another girl. Sorry, man. I'm not supposed to wait around for you and everything, man. You either said yes or kick rocks, you know? I was upset when she got killed. Like, oh, this ditzy hot blonde girl's gone from this movie? No. Emma Stone ain't bad, but I don't know, man. Just she's valley and ditzy. I love it. My sister is gone. She picked up a boy. He's from Berkeley. Berkeley! You don't have weed, do you? <laughs> do I look like the type of person that would have weed? I'm sorry. Boom! Yeah! Have not See, these people are the true antagonists of the movie. Hippies. Dirty, peace-loving hippies. They always ruin it. They almost ruin the rest of existence for them and everything. Because they were also melting guns. Like, I don't believe in melting shit or destroying shit either. Like, if you're not against guns, because they're like, don't bring guns into our camp. So it's like, alright, we'll just hide them somewhere in case you need them. They'll melt the shit down. Melt down a fucking car or something like that. You're ruining guns. You might as well keep the guns just in case. Fucking hippies. Slightly older, better looking friend. Nah, <laughs> can't. You live here? No, Paul Blart. I live in the freezer in Pinkberry. Mm hmm. It keeps the zombies out, though it is awfully jelly. <laughs> well, she wasn't dead. It was just a nut allergy, and she wasn't shot. I thought it was for real. I was upset. I was like, oh, come on, man. The hottest girl in this movie, and you gotta kill her, but. Then she ends up being there all the way to the end and making it, so... Mm-mm, yeah, My Little Peach came back. And she basically told Jesse Eisenberg at the beginning, Hey, man, I'm being locked in the freezer. I'm either gonna do you or bite the bullet and do that old guy. So he's like, yeah, cool, I'm with it. I would've just moved on to her, personally, but whatever, dude. She was a great addition, a great member of the team. No! That's my right! Oh, my apologies, little Elvis! Okay, is it me, or does, does he kind of remind you of... I don't, I don't like you. At all. all. I think you double parked. <laughs> or more perpendicular parked. Hope we don't get a ticket. What is yeah, so this is the part uh, why Luke Wilson dies turning into one of these powerful zombies. So the, the zombies are very powerful nowadays. They call them the T-800s. And they run into the sort of their counterparts. That's what Luke Wilson is. Sort of like... Remember Shaun the Dead did that, right? They ran into people who are almost like them. Oh well, but every zombie thing has been done. Like, ever since probably Dawn of the Dead, the first one, there's been a slew of zombie films to come out. 
and it was pretty neat running into both of them so he luke wilson's almost like the redneck guy sort of like woody harrelson and the other one is like jesse eisenberg a neurotic jew or he's more dork like a jew dork mostly dork yeah. i'm a nut up or shut up that thing's very 2009 <laughs> Yeah, so that's the dude from Silicon Valley. Pretty nice. It's nice for him to show up. Well, anyways, he also turns into a zombie. Like one of those really strong zombies. They have to really beat the shit out of you to kill you in this. So that was like the Jesse Eisenberg. And they sort of like dressed alike. And one had rules and one had commandments. Because I guess the commandments are a Christian thing, I guess. But it was a very cool cameo while it lasted. The gore was neat too. Just told both those guys had bashed in. Nice. October 18. What made you do it? And don't say the script. Can this be just between us? Drugs cost money. Didn't see that coming, right? Yeah, Bill Murray himself had a great cameo again. Almost like you have to stay to the end of the credits and everything to really get it. But he kills a couple of zombies when the outbreak first happened. And mm -mm, Rosario Dawson shows up and Woody Harrelson, bang, that's right, dude. I buy that relationship more than anything Jesse Eisenberg's in. He nails the two hottest ladies in here. <laughs> like, Rosario Dawson and Woody Harrelson makes more sense than Jesse Eisenberg, dude. Stay first! And by following the rules. The rules are for pussies, nothing personal. How could that not be personal? That's like my whole thing. Yeah, you're right, it's personal. Yeah, so she runs off with this dude, and then it's pretty funny. He pretends to play like, oh, hey, I wrote Freebird. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Who hasn't heard of Freebird? I think she calls him out later, like, who hasn't heard of Bob Dylan, even though I was 12 years old? But, yeah, it's a pretty good zombie sequel. So then they go down to the hippie colony, and they're not allowed to have any guns, but Rosario Dasa comes on through, saves the fucking day with her monster truck. So, all in all, the total kill count was two. Only, like, two characters. Two human beings, I guess, you know? I don't see that many other people dying, unless you want to count all the zombies. But if you want to be like that, so just plus 200 zombies if you want, and you get a total of 202. Yeah, it was a pretty good sequel. Like, as a comedy, I think it more impressive as a comedy sequel than a zombie sequel. Because a lot of zombie sequels, I don't know, do really well. Dawn of the Dead, 28 Weeks Later. I don't know, even like Return of the Living Dead Part 2 a little bit, but not as much. But anyways, alright, so thanks for watching. Subscribe for more horror and kill counts, and I will see you dudes later. Later, dudes.